Flux 1.1 Pro has just been released and is the best AI image generator right now. In this video, I will show you techniques to create the most realistic images possible. To begin, you can access Flux 1.1 Pro on several different platforms. The first platform is Together.ai, where signing up for a free account gives you $5 in credit, allowing you to use Flux 1.1 Pro to generate a few dozen images. Another option is Rubberband.com. You can sign up for free, and once you do, you get 10 free generations using Flux 1.1 Pro. Everart.ai also offers access to Flux 1.1 Pro, but you will need to buy some credits before using it. Then Fal.ai has a Flux 1.1 Pro space, but it costs about 4 cents per megapixel. You can also use Flux 1.1 Pro on Replicate, which charges around 4 cents per image or 25 images for $1. Lastly, Flux 1.1 Pro is available on freepick.com, though you will need to pay for credits to use it. I will link to all of these platforms in the description below. In this video, I will be using Together AI, as it offers $5 in free credits. The platform is simple to use. You can select up to four results, adjust the width and height of your images, define number of steps, and set a seed number. There are no advanced settings like CFG scale or negative prompts. Just enter your positive prompt and hit generate. Let's start with something simple, like a beautiful woman in a cafe, and see what results we get. As you can see, this is a typical style that Flux generated images have. The face appears overly polished, almost too perfect to seem real, and the background is heavily blurred creating a strong depth of field effect which is a common feature in flux-generated images. So, let's explore some techniques for creating realistic images with Flux 1.1 Pro, which also work in Flux Dev. Start by including keywords like low quality, phone photo, Snapchat, or grainy to your prompt. Then, I will finish the prompt with something like a teenage man taking a mirror selfie. And here is the result. How cool is that? This way you can make your images look more natural and authentic. Another way to create realistic images is to include image file extensions in your prompt. For example, if you type selfie.jpg, Flux will generate a realistic image that looks like a selfie of a person. Then again you can add more details like the date of the photo, say, dinner underscore 2010, 12, 10.jpg and Flux will generate an insanely realistic image of people having dinner. Just look at the level of realism Flux has achieved right now, and it's only Flux version 1.1. Let's try with another random date, followed by passport underscore photo dot jpg, and just look at the result, you'd hardly believe it is AI generated. It even includes the signature of the person. Yet another way to create realistic images with Flux 1.1 Pro, is by using prompts like IMG underscore followed by any four numbers, such as IMG underscore 1016.CR2. The CR2 format simulates Canon DSLR camera's raw images, making it very difficult to tell the difference from a real photo. And adding a subject in your prompt, like a cat, will produce lifelike images that doesn't appear AI generated at all. You can also try other formats like Apple's HEIC for natural looking images. For example, using IMG underscore 1025 HEIC selfie gave me very realistic result. I'm really impressed with what Black Forest Labs is doing, and I'm a big fan. Just imagine what Flux 2 will be capable of. They're also working on an AI video generator, which I'm super excited about. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video.